Welcome to Teens in 20 in 2024. We are so glad to be back. I uh, hope you're excited to see what we've got coming up. Today's session is all about Viva Connections and I brought a true legend in Microsoft, Nick Ledger, uh, who's a senior specialist at Microsoft, to come and tell us all about Viva Connections. Um, Because time is always short in uh, Teams in 20 land. I'm going to hand straight over to you, Nick. If you want to take control of those slides, uh, the, the floor is yours. Perfect. So hopefully everyone can still see the slides OK. Perfect. Um, Hello everyone, nice to meet you all. As, as Joe mentioned, my name is Nick Ledger. I'm one of our employee experience specialists here at Microsoft. So my role is really looking at how we're transforming the way the employees are working, right? There's been a huge transformation over the last kind of three to five years. If we think about everything that happened during lockdown and then everything that's happened since and trying to readjust the way that we work from a hybrid point of view, from a flexible point of view, um, but also from a huge technological um, leap forward in terms of some of the technology that we're using, the tools we're using each day. And so what I'm here to talk to today is Viva Connections, and it's part of our Viva suite of tools. Uh, and that Viva suite of tools you'll start seeing in multiple places. Some of you might have seen that Yammer became Viva Engage and that we brought Glint in as Viva Glint. And um, there's actually about nine or 10 different Viva modules, and they're all focused on these, these three areas you see here. How do we give you better data and insight into how people are working? Um, how do you better understand how the business is operating? And how do we help improve people's connection to purpose and, and their leadership? And um, also, how are we helping employees to become high performing employees, right? How do we start creating a high performance workforce where people have everything they need at the tips of their fingers and um, to be able to do their jobs really effectively? And, the key thing we're going to be talking to is Viva Connections, because Viva Connections really sits at the heart of all of this. It really sits at the heart of thinking about what is a frictionless experience. So Viva Connections essentially sits there within Microsoft Teams. It's a place where people can go and access all the tools that they need to do their day to day. Um, but it's also the place that they can go to to find all the news, the communications, the resources that they need as they start to um, work through their day and try and find all the pieces that they need. And so really it's the extension of what Teams has always been in terms of a single um, application for colleagues to be able to get what they need, whether it's people, apps or information. And so through Viva Connections, essentially this application in Teams uh, enables you to access it on any mobile device, any desktop device, so that if a colleague is traveling, they can still access all the key resources. And um, the way I always think about it is similar to things like BBC News, right? If you go to the website, you get the full context of all the information you need. Um, but on the mobile device, actually, I need to be able to get to the quick um, bits I need to do the bit I'm doing, whether it's just digesting some news or, or trying to find a, an application. And so this ability to have it over multiple formats means that we can start customizing it around certain key areas. But one of the things that have always been in the back of our mind with Viva Connections is we want to make sure that you have full ability to customize it. So essentially Viva Connections comes in two flavors. It comes in a out the box version that lets you um, customize some key areas like the news that's pulled through, um, dashboard cards and, and kind of resource links. Um, but we also have a separate flavor of being able to bring in your full SharePoint site. So if you're already using SharePoint for your internet, you're able to bring that through into Viva Connections and you're able to utilize the, the resources, the dashboard cards, the feeds, all within that page itself. So you can decide how you want to utilize these capabilities. And of course, on mobile, we try to keep that really simple. So we pull through the key elements of those pages, whether it's the dashboard cards, um, so we can help people complete the things they want to complete, whether it's the feeds to be able to scroll through um, different types of posts or news items, um, or those resource capabilities. And that's the same on iOS and Android. Now, one of the key parts that I've touched on a few times here is being this, this idea of dashboard cards. And this is probably one of the most important pieces of Viva Connections, because ultimately what this is, is making sure that this application, this tool is useful for people. 
And so this is a great opportunity to really think about what are the things that people use day in, day out, um, where we need to give them really easy access, right? We don't want them to feel like they're going off to a separate website, but they're logging into different places. And um, we want them to feel like they can just at the click of a button, be able to book their annual leave or see their pay slip or read the latest news um, and be able to access all those different applications. And so through those dashboard cards, you can start to customize a whole variety of different experiences, whether it's you know, for new joiners and saying, well, actually, for anyone who's joined the business in the last two months, I want them to have an onboarding card. Or if you've got a big company town hall, maybe we want to add in a um, you know, some more details that people can read through. Um, maybe it's collecting information from people for, for registering for an, a, an event or a webinar. Uh, or maybe it's even just pushing out some kind of daily briefing news. And um, you're able to customize these experiences as you see fit. And we're going to look at how we do that in a second. Um, and I can see a great question from me in the chat as well about Viva Engage versus Viva Connections. Think about Viva Connections as the home place to find the applications uh, that I need, right? And as a benefit of that, I can also scroll through my news. I can scroll through my Viva Engage posts. I can scroll through a few different areas. Um, but Viva Engage is much more that central social connection, right? It's a place where I can go to to find communities, to find my leaders, to find all the different people that I want to connect with and learn from. So Viva Connection is very much that simple application to access things. Viva Engage is really the kind of culture uh, of your organization. So what I thought would be useful is actually if I loaded up a live environment um, to show you how to get this set up if you've not done so already. And the first place that we begin with during this uh, setup is through the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So you will need to be working with an IT lead who has Microsoft 365 Admin capabilities. But essentially from here, what you'll see is that it is very easy to get set up. I can simply go into the Admin Center. I can search for Viva Connections. And from here, I can follow the on-screen step, uh, on steps to essentially create the application, to pin it in Teams, uh, and to make sure that's automatically installed for everyone. So it's very much step by step. And from here, I can go in and I can create a new experience. I've already got one set up for us to talk through. But I can basically say, do I want an out the box option? Do I want to build it from my existing internet? And I can follow those steps and essentially create it. And then once that's created, essentially I've got my application within Teams. Right? And I can change things like the, the logo and the name of it. Um, but from here, I can see the different news items that's targeted to me. I can see the different dashboard elements. Uh, I can start to experience some of those adapted cards, and I'll show you how we create some of them shortly. Um, and I can also see those resources and can add those resources in. But for those of you who have decided that you want to keep your internet, we do keep that also closely linked, so I can actually flick across to my internet if I need to. So throughout all of this, we've created a new experience. We've got our so basic version set up, but let's have a look at how we actually customize the dashboard cards. Because as I mentioned, this is one of the most important pieces because we want people to get useful interactions out of this. And that's going to ensure that they return back to the application in their day to day. You know, as an example of that, Microsoft, we've got a variety of different dashboard cards, um, whether it's booking my annual leave or whether it's um, reporting an incident or whether it's um, looking at the menu of the cafe and the restaurant that I'm in. Right? We try to tailor these experiences based off of what's going to be useful to people in their day to day. And so from here, we can essentially come into um, these dashboard cards and we can start to say, well, what what do we want to create, right? Do we want to create a approvals dashboard cards? Do we want to have tasks in there? Do we want to add in um, news items? And you'll start to see with some of these cards, you have different options to filter it or to choose the sizing of it to make sure that it's really tailored to what you want to fit on the screen. And so for this example with news, it might be that, you know, I have a very specific site for a part of the business. Um, it might be that I want to use the AI behind the scenes to automatically recommend news that this person hasn't read. Um, but I have that full flexibility. And so with any of these cards, you have this ability to really decide how you want that experience to, to look. And as, a, and as a quick example of some of the ways you can start to customize this, um, this is the ability here to create a completely custom card. And so I've got the option to say whether I just want it to be very basic, whether I want to add text in, um, or whether I want to create an image. 
And so say, for example, we want to create a new card here for um, new joiners or say a new um, CEO update. I can change the title. I can change the icon from a library of uh, updates. I can go in and change the header and um, say new annual results announced. Oh, wrong card. New annual results announced. I can decide where I want those buttons to go. So it might be actually I want to say you know, read and the second button I want to link to a YouTube video where we're linking to the um, the results. Um, I can add an image in. So if we go for something like a stock image, just pick a person here and I can move that right up to the top of the screen here. Just drag and drop it. And from that as well, by the way, you have the full ability to audience target those cards. So if you're working in a complex business, maybe you've got multiple brands, maybe you've got different geographies, um, you're able to actually say what audience you want to see that. And that's just built off of security groups so you've probably already got in place. So if I just wanted this to be for the UK CEO and for the UK business, I could change that to the United Kingdom and only those people in the UK would see that content. Um, so from this, we can start to create these different experiences and you'll see with, with some of these once I republish it, um, there are a whole variety of different cards. Right? So you can customize these. They can be as simple as just signposting to information or they can go into a level of detail um, that can link into different data sources. I mentioned before, like, for example, when I book my annual leave, I can see straight from the card how many days I've got left to book, and then I can just follow the step-by-step -step guidance on that card without having to go off to a separate page. Um, that's all possible with these Viva Connections cards. So there's a few different ways you can start to do that. We do have a website called adaptivecards.io. And um, this has a load of templates to get you started. There's a little bit of code behind the scenes, but speaking from someone who was comms by background, I wasn't so sort of when I was first using this, had the ability to code. Um, I was able to use these templates to get me up and running. And so there are a whole variety of different libraries that you can use. And um, you can drag and drop things onto this page. Um, here's one I kind of set up earlier just by dragging and dropping a template that I found. But you know, here's something that I could target to people who have just joined the organization. Um, I can go in and I can you know, add different elements that I might want them to see. Um, I can customize the imagery and whatnot. And essentially, I can copy that information, go back into my Viva Connections, um, go back to editing that dashboard and pick one of my, my cards. Um, so we'll just create a new one here with Card Designer. And I'm just going to literally copy that into this bottom bit here. And so all I need to do now is say, um, you know, I want this to show the quick view, which is the text I just copied in. This is going to be welcome. Click here to see your first steps. Then once I republish that, I can click on that card and what we'll see is that card pop up. So again, very quick kind of run through there, but our ability to kind of copy it um, and paste it into there becomes very, very easy. And we'll share the guidance on how to get that set up shortly as well. So in a nutshell, that is how we can very quickly spin up a Viva Connections experience and start tailoring those dashboard cards um, and ultimately start improving our employee experience. So as an employee, I can come in, access teams it's not asking me to keep signing in i can just access the chats i need but also all those applications and um bits of information that i need in my data line so i can see we've got a few questions in the chat which we'll try and cover off in the next couple of minutes um so a question here from maheshwa what will be the best way to integrate third-party apps will it be via microsoft teams or viva connections great question so essentially they're both the same thing, right? So what Viva Connections helps you do is essentially link off to those Teams applications. So if you've actually already installed the application, added it to your library, um, you're able to link directly to that Teams application. So again, you don't need to kind of upload anything separately. You can simply link directly to that application, take something like Viva Engage, um, and be able to connect it straight to that dashboard itself. 
Um, let's see, uh, a question here about Viva Connection is great. We are exploring dynamic cards and needs a lot of coding to manage it through lists, et cetera. Is Microsoft planning to simplify low code? We are continuing to build on this framework. So you will continue to see improvements in the way those cards are created. Um, I know the team have been working on new design elements to kind of really start bringing it to life. And um, so some really exciting things coming up in that space as well. But yeah, our aim is to keep making it simple um, so that you can start creating really interesting experiences. Um, question here from Delia. Would love to see examples of pay scales, even just how other consoles lay them out on SharePoint pages. Um, we're creating a new intro and our current table format isn't very friendly. More than happy Delia to help connect you to your employee experience specialist to see if we can share some examples of what a good internet looks like and how these dashboard cards can start sitting on those pages. And then I can see a last question here from um, Mr. Amit. Um, just to confirm this is not within the standard E1 license, and um, this actually is. So basically, the easiest way to describe it from a licensing point of view is that everything I've shown you so far, if you have Microsoft Teams, then you likely have the ability to use Viva Connections. But that does uh, bring us on nicely to um, a second part of this, which is the fact that there is going to be a, an additional layer of capability being brought into Viva Connections that is going to sit with a premium license that um, we've only recently announced. And so essentially, if you think about where everything I've shown you, that all sits in your current Microsoft 365 licensing, as well as tools like Viva Engage, um, we are essentially going to have a new Viva Communications Premium License. And with that, you'll have the ability to create multiple instances of Viva Connections. Um, you'll have new capabilities, which I'll give you a brief um, uh, view of in terms of announcements, but also a load of new premium capabilities in Viva Engage um, and a new communications management tool as well called Amplify, but that does sit in a separate premium license. But that means that if you want to have multiple versions of the application for different parts of your organization, or you want to be able to send out push notifications, um, that will sit there in that separate premium capability.